Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, whenever I have a list to do, sometimes I decide maybe I should stick with the easy ones first and maybe get a few things off my list taken care of before I get bogged down with something hard and difficult. You know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this these towel bars first. And if you remember on my list, I said there was a couple ends missing. Now, what am I talking about? Now, not all towel bars are created equal. So this one could be different than yours. Okay, see this? I'm saying the end is off. Because look at the other end. There's an end like this that, un that unscrews and screws and tightens back on. And this one's missing. What are we going to do about that? Look at this other towel bar. Same thing. This one's missing again. And the screw is just pushed in there. And this is kind of holding by friction. It's probably not going to fall off, but it's really not good that way either. See, I've got an end on that one. Now, if you're lucky enough, you can take a picture. Ah, come on. It's kind of blurry here for some reason. I may have to open up this bamboo blind here. Maybe I should do that. Get a little bit more light in here. I don't know. Maybe this might help to a certain extent. Okay, if you're lucky enough, you can go to the hardware store, different box stores or whatever. Take a picture of this and see if they have the same one because it's always nice to get the very same. Worst case scenario, you got to take this off and replace it. But what you want to do is try to match existing ones as able. Now, if you decided to do that, and if you couldn't find any, then what I would do is take both of these out, okay? Replace both of these so that these two match in this particular bathroom. Then you could save these, if you have another bathroom with the same types of ends and trim and everything, you can save these for parts. I don't know why this is coming blurry. That's kind of pissing me off. What the heck? Okay, so what I'm going to do, and different ones come off differently. Sometimes there's a set screw that's right up in here, but this particular one, see this little nib here? There's a tiny, tiny screw in there. So I got to have to find my very small standard screwdriver and unscrew that. What I'm going to do here is because, see the tips, the ends, the finished ones are on the end over there. Well, as you come in through this, bathroom entrance, I want the nice end caps on this side and I'm going to do something different on that side, okay? So I want to first off take those ends and put them over here, okay? That's my first step. Stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're working on this top one first. The bottom one's going to go this very same way. See this screwdriver? See how small the tip is? That's what you got to have. Sometimes you might even have a tip that's not even large enough or small enough. So I've got a couple of these. Trick is you got to hold your mouth just right and feel up in there. Okay, I got it. And unscrew that without rubbing your knuckles or the screwdriver on your wall because you don't want to start marking up your wall. Okay, you just loosen that a little bit like that, and this should come off of here, okay? And now I'm going to gently slide that out. And see the screw's not even here, is it? That's because it's inside. There it is. There's my screw. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to undo this one. And Remember, I'm just going to take this cap off, so the screw actually is supposed to face that way, while on this other one it faced, it faced the very opposite to kind of hold it in there because they were missing the end. So see, now I can unscrew the end. See, it just pops off like that. See, that's how it works. There's a screw in there like that, Phillips screwdriver. And then that goes on the end, okay? Well, what are we gonna do now if I take this end cap, and I'm gonna put it on that one over there. Okay, so I've gotta, I'm gonna do something on here. This is still tight, 
So see, now I'm going to put that on there with the screw sticking out. And I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to fix that. Kaboom. Well, I went to Ace this time because Ace was closer than any other hardware store. And I was lucky enough to find these little screws. And here's the actual screw I'm going to use. See, it took me a while to find this because it's a machine threaded and I think it was metric. And see, it's actually got a little washer in there too, okay? And so I'm gonna use this on the end of that. That's all I'm gonna do. Let's see if I can't get this resituated. Okay, let's see here. And I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna put it on the end there, like that. And I've gotta get my pliers, my classon, my crescent wrench. Here's my little baby crescent wrench, also known as a spanner wrench. Okay, you can hold that on there. I'm gonna tighten this, I'm gonna tighten this up onto there until it's tight. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now granted, okay, that's how that one's gonna look. It's all nicely secured now, unlike how it was before, how it was loose and Yes, it doesn't have a cap on it, right? It doesn't have a finished cap like that. We're going to actually take that one. We're going to change it over there. But this is right up against the wall. That'll suffice. And so now, this one up here, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to, I'm going to look at that. Remember how that goes because the screw I want facing down. So then I know that's going to go like that, let's see, like that. This is going to go there, right? And then I'm going to put my screw in there. Jeez, I'm not left-handed. And I'm going to take my cap, and the cap's going to just screw on, see? Like that. And I can take my my Phillips screwdriver, crank down on that, like that, there you go. Might as well check that, since I have it down. That Sometimes different ones have different ways to keep everything tight. If your body's ever loose, could be something as simple as taking it off and tightening up that screw there. Okay, so now, now I can put that back on, can I? Okay, so Let's go ahead and I've got to slide that on there like that. Okay. Now I can I can put that on there. Make sure you get it up tight because it definitely has to fit up here over a slot and then it pushes down. You want to make sure that's pushed down where it was before. And now I can take my little screwdriver and tighten this up. Try to get it as snug as you can. Like that. I'm gonna feel on there. One more little bit. And that's it. Voila. Look at that. Fixed. Can you see how that is looking a lot better? And it's nice and tight. See this here? How loose this is? That's because that screw this one's not fixed yet. I still have to fix that, don't I? I've got screws in there. If I wiggle this enough, I can probably get this right off. It's really not good, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that one as well. The same way, okay? Now, if you have a set screw that's up at the very top, and that tells you somebody put it in backwards because you want the set screws down at the bottom always. Okay. Wiggle that, pop it off, and look at that. There's the screw. You see, somebody, somebody went ahead and they put the screw in this way. Like
that just to hold this together, see? But it was loose. That's why you could see this screw from the end from before. Okay? They just did that to make it work. They didn't know what else to do. But we're, it's going to end up being like that with the screw this way. With that piece of trim, we're going to take that trim off. The little end cap. Let's see if you can see that. Yes. You can get you resituated here. Just gonna undo that screw. See that screw's loose now. Now all I can, all I have to do is take that off. I can leave that right like that. The screw's there, like that. Very simple, Simon. Okay, put that on there. Making sure you can see this. Got it tight a little bit. Take that, crank that baby down, and put it back on. Now, this might be a good time to make sure your, your wall screws are good. Because sometimes this, this here could be loose. Maybe that's why your whole thing's loose. Okay, so that's going to end up going on there like that. I'm not going to tighten that up yet because I still have to fix that, don't I? I'd rather fix that first and then finish off with this. That way I don't have to Mickey Mouse around with that because I have to get my screwdriver in there. And lucky for me, of course, I went to the store and I got extra ones of these because I was never sure when I would need it again. I got like 15 or 16 of these little screws. It took me a while to even find them. And I should have gotten more because I've already fixed quite a few of these on property this way. In there, put my screwdriver in there, and oh, in fact, this is just about the right size to fit inside where the little hole was for the trim. And in fact, I don't even have to hold my screw, my my crescent wrench on there because it's fitting so perfectly in there. Wow. Okay. Cool. Buy a crescent wrench. I guess I don't need to use a crescent wrench anymore. Okay, let's just keep her going here. Okay, see? This, this stuff is not rocket science we're doing here. Okay? It's easy things that you can do at home on your own. You do not have to call someone. You do not have to go and buy these. This one, even if I could have found this one, they, they used to have these years ago matched up at uh, the Home Depot. But then I couldn't find them anymore. They changed to a different brand. And even when they did have them, just this little two-footer was like $32 or something. Because it came from a little collection of, of things. They really do look nice. You can find this particular one. Okay, voila. Now, I'm done with this little project. Doesn't that look a lot better in a short few spans of a few minutes? I've got both of those fixed. And that looks better because now I have the trim pieces on the outside. When I put the towels back on here, you're not going to see the ones far in as easily as here. That's why I chose not to put the nuts on this end. Yeah, it took me a few minutes extra to undo the end on the other side and all that, but hey, that's way better than what there was before. Okay, there you go. You can do it.